Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here at the Buco Bungalow. Gutsy Hunter here with you, bringing you back the second episode of our beginner series for professional fishing. Uh, we had quite a few views on that last one, so I thought, well, let's go ahead. Uh, didn't see any comments or any questions that you guys had, so I figured we will just pick right up where we left off. Looks like our daily quest today is we can catch 10 kilos of any fish. Uh, catch a 10 kilo asp, which with the equipment we have is not going to be possible, nor is it going to be possible to catch that 25 kilo pike. Uh, but definitely, definitely worth up. We'll definitely shoot for this 10 kilo of any fish. Let's get started. As you can see, uh, we've only fished so far the Silver Forest. We've caught some grass carp, some crucians. What else have we caught here? Let's see, Silver Bream. And it looks like that's about it. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do today, we've got 1,800. Uh, I'm going to call it silver. I'm not sure what the, they really call it in this one. And I think we're going to try our little uh, little spin fishing today. See what we can do here. Let's see. What do we have in our bag already? Uh, lures. So we don't have any lures currently. All right, well. So... We can go ahead and, well, everything is locked at the moment still, I thought. Oh. So it looks like we can go ahead and get us some twisters, and I think we will get us a twister here. In my past, I've had a lot of success with the uh, the white one, so I'll buy that. And the black one as well. Okay, and let's see, hooks. What are we at on? Got a 16 size hook, so I think let's go ahead and upgrade that a slightly if we can to an eight. That should be all right. Let's go ahead and buy an eight. And then line. Uh, have we been able to get up anything more? What do we have for line right now? 1.3 kilos. Oh, we should be all right. It's going to be some some good fights there, but we should have we should have some fun with that. So let's go ahead and. Get on back to our Silver Forest. Uh, once again, if you guys didn't catch that on the last one, if you want to come join me anytime you see me fishing in professional fishing, uh, I always head to room 22. That is kind of the, the bugle bungle room, as we like to call it here. So let's go ahead, and it looks like it's 1256. Let's go ahead and get some fishing in. Let's see what we can do here. So usually what I try to do is to use that uh, the white one during the day and then the, the black one in the evening. So, all right. Well, I thought it, was, it is raining. I was gonna say I thought I saw raindrops there. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna head over here. And what I like to do, there's a little spot. You see that tree right here, straight ahead of us, right there. Usually if you go on the other side of it, there's some really good fishing right through there, so. As a matter of fact, one thing I didn't show you in that last episode is how to place your tent. Uh, so we're going to place our tent right here, and that's just with the T key. And then when you load into the game, it just loads you right here at the tent so you don't have to walk so far. So let's get on over here to our little fishing spot. Right off this point. Go ahead and get our net down. All right, now we need to go ahead and let's readjust our fishing style here. Oh, what happened to our 16? Oh, I didn't equip them, did I? All right, well, let me grab our net. We're going to have to... <laughs> see, that's the advantage of having mistakes. You guys can see that. Got to equip it. So let's go ahead and equip it real quick. Uh, let's see, we need to go back into our store, back in our backpack. And let's see here, hooks. We need to equip that. And lures. Okay, so now we're ready. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Back to free fishing. Back to the silver forest. Back to the bugle bungle room. Room 22. And here we go. Now this time we'll load in right at the tent there. So you guys should see a big difference there. Should... Ah, that coffee's good. Gotta have your coffee in the morning. Alrighty, let's get going over here. Still some rain, but that's okay. Okay, we'll get our net back down here. And let's go ahead now. Bump this up to the size 8 hook. And let's get our twister on it. Let's start with the white one, like I mentioned. And then we need to do, go down 6 and take our touch down to 80. All right. So let's get that out there. You can see that icon. We need to let that sink a little bit, and then we'll start reeling it in. And we got a fish right off of that. What did we get? What did we get? Angry little fish. He's angry. We'll see if we can do a little pumping and get him over here this way a little bit. Quite ready to come in yet. He is one little angry man. You eventually got to get tired out here. I don't know if I bump that up to now if that's going to be... Eh, it's kind of too much, so yeah. 80 seems to be the max on this one for now. But he just does not want to budge. Yeah, we're starting to get him in here now. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a decent fighter on our hands. That's that's what makes this game a lot of fun to get these nice fish that Oh, do we finally get him a little tired out here? Nope. I think it was making another run on us. Might take us twenty minutes just to get this one in here. <laughs> Looks like Give me a second guys here Our camera's acting up again
get back to it here. Here we go. Wow, he just wants to go, go, go. Not playing the game here with him. Starting to come in now. There we go. Come on. This is where uh, saving up and getting some more equipment is going to come in handy for us. <laughs> Got quite a bit of uh, these bigger fish make it make it challenging. Yeah, he's starting to come back in again. Or just uh, say that. Say, let's see if we give him a little tug here. If we can get him to get him to come in here. Bass, big old large mouth. It looks like. There we go. That was a good fight. Two point nine six kilos. Woo. Get him in there. All right, we'll get this back here. As, as I was saying, we want to go ahead and let that sink in right in the middle, and then start reeling. And you want to try, oh, and you want to try to keep that in always in the middle when you're. If you let it go to the bottom, it'll start flashing red on you, and when it starts flashing red, you're not going to catch anything. So, in fact, we have another big battle on our hand here again. Pump it a few times, see if we can get him to turn around here. I think definitely the first thing that we're going to want to upgrade is our reel. <laughs> our rod seems to be handling it pretty well. But uh, our, our reel just cannot handle so much of the stress of the the fish here, so. Let's get him tuckered out here as much as we can. So 
So, kind of doing a alternating right click to bring it up and then left click and as it comes down to reel in that additional line that we're trying to gain on the pole here. We had him coming in a little bit there. And gain a little bit, and then he peels off a lot, a lot more than we gain. So, <laughs> yeah, they're going to make another run on us. See if we can get in here. here. Our poor reel, I can just hear it grinding, grinding, grinding. <laughs> He's still 30 meters out. So got a big fight on our hands here. still here. He's a bigger fish with this light gear. It makes it interesting. I would imagine it's another bass about the same size probably. Start make some headway on him. <laughs> I think he's got to be getting somewhat tired out here. Get him under that uh, 30 mark is uh, a challenge and a half.
I think maybe we got him a little tired out here. See some fish working up over there towards that brush. Coming along slowly but surely here. I think what we'll do is once we get the daily goal, we will uh, take a look and see if we can get a, a newer reel here. That's another big bass. Look at that. Nice. Uh, three kill, huh? And we leveled up. Nice. <laughs> well, we're already at 6 kilograms, so I think what we need to do here real quick, let's go ahead and pick up our net. We'll go sell these two because uh, if we catch another one that size, we won't be able to keep it. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So 82 for that. 82 silver for the uh, 2.96. 85 for the 167 altogether. Nice. Let's just take a quick gander here. Uh, reels. So that's the 160. I think that's the one we currently have now. Oh, here we go. So for, for 1240, we can go ahead and pick that up. We just unlocked that one, so. What about rods? Uh, we don't want to tell a float. So 3.6 for that one for 790. And lines and what anything else open up for us? Nope, so we'd be still 1.8 kilos. That, that's oh, that's mono, that's braid. Okay, a lot of the big lines don't start opening up till level 8, huh? Fair enough, fair enough. Let's go ahead then and see 790. Let's get the reel first. Okay. I'm going to equip that. Oh, I don't have a slot for it, huh? Oh, heck. So we need to the store let's see our best is one rod one reel two lines uh, backpack would give us two reels and three lines what about the rod case what's that one Three rods, no reels. A bag will give us... Yeah, let's go ahead and throw on the backpack then. Okay, now we can go back to the reels. Equip that. All right. We'll head back to our fishing spot here. 
Have to catch a few more fish, obviously, since uh, we had to spend more money than we had originally planned. That's alright, we'll make it happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and change up our reel here. Then our line is still going to be the same. Hook is good still, right? Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do now with this one. So let's go ahead and take that down. Three, four, five. Take that down to 80. You can see with that drag, it makes it a little, <laughs> a little easier for us. Looks like I got a trot this time. Nice little brown trout. Nice. Oh, we got a fish right there close to the bank. Even though he's fighting more, uh, you can see that having that heavier drive just is uh, makes it a lot easier to manage these fish. When you get a bigger pole, then you know you'd be better off. So I have a lot of strength in this uh, lighter rod um, to kind of force the play anywhere. We just have to kind of keep him going and tire him out. So that's what we'll keep on doing here. Gonna be another nice bass, I can tell you that. He's uh, pulling line on us though now, so. Pulling some line on us here.
Angry fish. Another angry fish. This guy did not want to get caught. Come on now. Oh, now he's way out there. He's really pulling line on us here. Keep the pressure on him here. Bet she's gonna get tired up. Might be starting to wear down now. Might be starting to wear down. Starting to come in. Well, at least the bite rate's been good. Just can't get them in fast enough. <laughs> We've been playing around with you long enough. Get in here. There we go. And we got our, look at that. We just picked up our 10 kilos. All right, let's go ahead and well, let's fill the net real quick and then uh, we'll call that an episode here. I'll try to do some things off camera that uh, so we can um, get our gear upgraded for the next video.
Right, we're level four now. Nice. Another two kilos. And let's see if we can get us a smaller, a little bit smaller one here. Yes, we did. Look at that. That should be it. Oh, there's no space. Oh. Well, it's your lucky day, fish. <laughs> All right, let's pick up our net, guys. And uh, let's go see what we can do with these fish here. So we'll head up to the fish market. Brown trout, 42, 75 for the bass, 57 for the other bass. So another 174. Let's go, can we upgrade our net yet? No, not yet. Not yet. It's uh, level three, but we just don't have enough silver quite yet. Alrighty. Well, everybody, I think that'll wrap it up. We'll, uh, I'll do some off-camera work uh, to uh, get some more uh, items. Uh, get, ready, get us ready for the next episode. So, uh, But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate that. I hope you guys had... Uh, a good time with this uh, short little video. Uh, we are level four now, um, and we'll just keep growing and growing. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to add, go ahead and make sure to leave those in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't, I'd love to have you become part of the community. Hit that subscribe button. Also, I'll leave the Discord link down below, and I'd love to have you join our Discord and be part of that community as well. So, But as usual, once again, thank you for that love and support. Greatly appreciate all of you, and uh, couldn't do this without you. And until next time, everybody. Take care.